Okay, suppose the height of an object shot straight up is given by this formula. It's uh, h, h of t is 512t minus 16t squared. t is measured in seconds and h is measured in feet. They're asking us to find the maximum height obtained and the time it takes the object to hit the ground. So the problems we've done so far requires you to set up an equation for your quadratic that you would use to find the vertex. This particular one, it actually gives us the formula already. So since the formula is already given to that, we can just go right ahead and find the vertex by using negative b over 2a. Now because the variable here is t, that means that you'll have t equals negative b over 2a. So in this case you have the b value, be careful, the b value is 512, so we have negative 512 over 2 times the a, the a value is negative 16. So if we do this, that's going to give us 16 seconds. Now 16 seconds is not the answer to the problem because it's asking us for the maximum height. This is our time. So if I want to find the actual maximum height, I got to put 16 seconds into the formula. So my h is going to be 512 times 16 minus 16 times 16 squared. So if you work this out, you will get 4,096 feet as the maximum height. So that's how high the object goes is 4,096 feet. That answers the first part of the question. The second part asks, uh, how long does it take the object to hit the ground again? So there's a couple different ways that we can do this one. The first way is more intuitive. That means that uh, we're just going to take a look at and use this information to tell what the answer is. If it takes 16 seconds for it to go all the way up to the top, it'll take 16 seconds to fall back down on the ground again, so my answer should be 32 seconds. The other way of doing it is you can do a more algebraic approach, and the more algebraic approach would be you'd put a zero in for the height because that's what we're saying. If it goes all the way up and it's going to come down again, it'll hit the ground and that's going to be time of zero. So in this case, what I want to do is I'm going to factor out a, a 16t from that, and that's going to give me 32 minus t left over on the inside. Uh, 512t divided by 16 will give you 32, and then we take out 16 here, leave you with one t left over. Now if you set both those equal to zero, you're going to get t equals zero, which we know that it's going to start on the ground at t equals zero seconds. I'm not concerned about that. I'm concerned about when it lands later. So then I have 32 minus t equals zero, and I'll get 32 seconds for my answer there. So again, you could just double the 16, 16, 16 seconds up and 16 down gives you 32 seconds total, or again, you can set h equal to zero and work through it algebraically and you get that as your answer. So here's your height, 4,096 feet. Takes 32 seconds for it to go up and come down and hit the ground again.